just getting ready to take the chain off my DeWalt 20 volt chainsaw to give it a little sharpening and I thought I would walk you through all the different parts of the saw. I've been using this saw for a little while now and I think it is a, uh, it definitely has its place. It, it's a workhorse for what it's meant for. Uh, smaller branches, smaller trees, limbing up uh, larger trees, nice light weight. It's got the electric, um, electric 20 volt batteries from DeWalt. You get a bigger battery. I mean, they last a long time running this thing. Um, I've been running it for a while now and I got to get this blade off or uh, get the chain off and uh, sharpen it. So I thought I would uh, walk you through the saw, show you all its parts and show you how easy it is to get the chain on and off this thing. All right, first things first, before you work on this saw, it is electric um, as opposed to like a, a gas powered saw. You can hear that running. Um, you got to You got to actually pull it to start it, to get it to the motor to turn. Uh, one thing about this, you know, you hit the safety and you hit that, you hit that, that trigger. And as long as you have battery, that thing's going to kick on. Um, it could get accidentally turned on. Uh, so what you're going to want to do first thing first is take that battery out. Uh, make sure you got no battery hit that safety pull the trigger make sure there's no nothing nothing no accidents happening and then also make sure you put your gloves on so let me uh, let me move the camera around and I'll walk you through the saw all right guys I got this all set up I'm doing it upside down so bear with me if uh, if I get a little backwards or anything I'm just looking at the camera I got it upside down but uh, here we go we got this saw we got the brushless motor here uh, we got 12 inch bar uh, for you uh, metric people, that's 30 centimeters uh, brushless. It's uh, the XR series. Right up here on the front, you have your uh, bar oil. Even though it is electric, we still got to have oil on that bar to keep it uh, keep it nice and cool and not overheating, stretching out, and things like that. Um, easy twist on or twist in, and uh, it locks down. You're gonna clean that out at uh, some point here today. So that, that's gonna lock down there. Um, nice viewing window for the bar oil. This is empty right now. I, I just got done, I dumped it out, um, and I'm gonna put it in storage, but this fills up, and then you can see where it is. There's a minimum line, and then a full, obviously, all the way up. Uh, chain break here. Not bad, not bad. It, it stops instantly if you hit that chain break, um, if it bucks back or something kicks back like that. But what I'm doing today is I'm going to be uh, be taking this blade off. I'm gonna get it changed or uh, get it sharpened up and put back on uh, with electric electric sharpener. And this is how you're gonna do it. So this is your chain tensioner and this is the, the lockdown for this cover. So this both serves as the lockdown for the cover um, so it secures it in so it doesn't slide back and this uh, accidentally turn. But this is also how you're gonna take this, this cover off. So what, what you're gonna do to take this off, let me get my gloves on here, this chain, uh, although it needs to be sharpened, is uh, it's probably still sharp and I don't wanna cut my hands taking it off and messing around with it. So get gloves on. Uh, like I said, battery is out. Check that. Nope, nothing, nothing, not gonna accidentally gonna come on for me. Uh, so what I do is loosen this a little bit and then I take all the tension off the, the, the chain. So you're gonna to go to the minus sign here. Then we can see the plus and minus. I'm gonna release that. And then we're gonna unscrew this. Just keep unscrewing it. You can feel the cover lifting up a little bit and then it's just threaded on a bolt there. So once it's off the thread, just pulls off, no problem. And then you can see you got your sprocket you got your bar, you got your chain, just like any normal um, gas chainsaw. So you can pull this off, tension's all off, it comes right off. And then you got your 12 inch bar. Take a look at the bar, make sure it's not bent, uh, clean it up and what you want. Uh, so what we got here is this is a nice little handy handy little diagram you got both both one here on the bar and then also let's see if i can get it to focus in uh you got a diagram there on what direction the chain goes uh i know a lot of people question what way it goes when you put it back on that gives you a nice simple diagram right there um right there in front of you also here, this is this is your oiler. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure this stays clean. This is where your oil is gonna emit back out onto the chain while you're running it. And um, yeah, it's pretty simple. 
All right, the way this tensioner works, you can see this knob here, you got the plus minus, and if you're gonna, when you're tightening it, you see this little, this little nub here, I don't know if you can see it moving as I twist that. But what that does, when you slide your bar on here, that goes in this little hole, and as you tighten that, it pushes it out. It tensions that chain. Chain stretch a little bit. Uh, you need a little bit more tension. You turn that a little bit. It pushes it out just a, just a smidge enough to get that tight on the, on the bar. So let's get this chain back in. I'll show you how tight you're going to want it. That bar seats down in the in the hole there. Make sure oh I missed there. Make sure you get your chain in the groove all the way around the bar. Sorry guys, like I said, that's upside down. I gotta get to here and get in front of it and do it like I normally would. Get that tightened up a little bit. Sorry, that was a little wonky getting that on. So uh, what we got is we got the chain around the spindle. We got the, the cutting teeth facing forward, just like the diagram said. You get that flap and, the, and this is where it cuts. So this is going to be cut forward or pushed forward. Then we're going to take our, our cover. We're going to slide it back on in place and then just get that going on that bolt again start to tighten it down don't tighten it all the way down and we're going to want to tension this chain so what i've been taught is you want to pull the chain out and the furthest it will go we want this bottom of this tooth to still stay in the groove just a bit so that's pretty good uh, probably tighten it just a little bit and you can see you can barely get that that barely get that tooth out of that groove and then we're gonna tighten this down. We're gonna snug it up. And there we go, all set. I'm gonna take it back off. I'm gonna get it sharpened and uh, get back to work. All right guys, so uh, as you can see, it's pretty easy to work on. I fumbled around there a little bit. That's a that's just due to due to filming and trying to uh, trying to show you guys what's going on. It is super simple, no tools required really, other than, uh, other than the sharpener once you get the chain off. If you're swapping it out with a new chain, uh, no problem. I'll have a, a link for that down in the video description, which chain you're going to want to use. And if you're, you, if you're looking for an electric chainsaw, I definitely recommend this one, especially if you already have DeWalt batteries uh, and the DeWalt platform. But I think it might be worth getting into DeWalt tools. Uh, this is a great option. They have a bunch of tools that can run on the same 20-volt platform. So scroll down there and check that out too. 
I appreciate that. Both the links down there are affiliate links. What happens if you click on those, I get a little credit, no additional cost to you, earn a little bit of commission and, uh, and it helps support me. I appreciate that. Thanks for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.